Hello everybody, my name is uh, Joel Quignoni from uh, caelinux.com. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can create a computational fluid dynamics simulation using uh, Salome Mecha for pre processing and Code Saturn for uh, solution. So, uh, we'll start with the pre processing phase. Uh, we'll open up Salome Mecha here. Um, actually, we will load an existing case that is called the pipe.hdf and this case has already been prepared so if you want to have a look at how you can get to that point uh, you can uh, load uh, flash videos that I already prepared for previous versions of CAE Linux. So these videos, just for you to know, it's in CAE Linux tutorials uh, pipe folder and these are the pipe germ uh, .swf and uh, pipe mesh um, so we start with an existing case so we, we need to start by loading this uh, this file so we open go to computer root opt cae linux docs tutorials and pipe folder so there are two files here, one with the geometry only and the other with geometry and mesh, pipe1mesh.hdf, so we load this one. Uh, I switch to the geometry module here, uh, so that we can have a look at the CAD geometry of the problem. Um, I expand the tree so that we can see the latest uh, model here, fuse1, and uh, we show the object and rescale the view. So that's it. Uh, that's how it looks like in wireframe uh, mode. So and here in shading mode. So you right click, select shading. Um, so that's a pipe, a wide junction, uh, cylindrical sections, and um, we al already prepared uh, groups for simulation. Uh, the first group is walls here. Uh, if I show it, it's the external surface of the pipe. And we'll have also uh, a face called F1, which is the inlet here, and two other faces, which are F1 and F2, uh, F2 and F3, sorry, uh, which are the outlets there. Um, that's it for the geometry module, uh, but it's important to, no to notice that you need groups of geometry to then create groups of mesh elements uh, for simulation. So we move then to mesh module. Yeah, it takes some time to load. Okay. Um, so here is the mesh that we have generated. It's a tetrahedral mesh that contains about 66. Let's see this. Uh, 66,000 cells. Mesh information. Yeah, 66,000 tetrahedra. Um, so it's a fairly simple mesh to generate because it's uniform mesh size, uh, tetrahedral mesh, so fairly simple. Uh, so that, that's how it looks like. And then we have already created a group of faces for wall, you see it here, for inlet and for the two outlets. Uh, these are here actually. Yeah, these two. Okay. So that's for the initial setup. Uh, as mentioned earlier, uh, look at the flash video if you want to know how to get there. Um, then, so we need to set up a case for CutSaturn now. So to do that, we will write the mesh in a med file. Med file is a format that is used to exchange uh, meshes between uh, mostly Salome and CutSaturn and Salome and Codaster. So. Uh, we write, we go in our own folder, uh, we create a small folder for this analysis, CFD Saturn, that's it. And in this folder, we'll create a med, uh, med file that is called pipe.med for the mesh. So that's it. We have written the mesh. Now we can leave uh, Salome. Um, so I've just reduced Salome here. Um, we go back to CA Linux menu, and here I will use the little tutorial, uh, little uh, wizard that I've coded for CA Linux. Uh, if you want to, to, to learn how to use the Code Saturn 
in depth. Uh, you should really read the Code Saturn tutorials, uh, the official ones. Uh, but this is a short introduction. So we'll use just our wizard here. Uh, and then we need to fill a couple of um, fields. First, the study name is the name of the of a subfolder that will be created to store all the simulation files. Then the case name is normally, here we have only a single uh, case study. So I'll just call it case one. Uh, and then the base directory where in which you will create the, the, um, the study uh, uh, folder. So I will go in CFD Saturn and validate. Finally, you, we need a mesh file in med format. So I will pick uh, the mesh that we have been just exported. So here, pipe med and validate. That's all for the wizard. We click OK. Then the wizard is actually preparing uh, a folder structure uh, and then launching the uh, Code Saturn graphical user interface that you can see here. Um, so this Code Saturn graphical user interface is a relatively simple uh, user interface in which you need just to follow each step in this tree from uh, very first definition of the meshes and folders you are working on and that end up, ends up here with calculation management to the job management. So we go here first, uh, mesh selection, you see you already have pipe.med in the mesh selection, so you don't need to do anything here. Then mesh quality criteria, that's a very important step. Actually, uh, first, because we need to check if the, the mesh is valid. And second, because it will generate a list of uh, groups uh, to apply boundary conditions. So that's, that's a, a step that you shouldn't skip. So you go here and press check mesh. And by pressing that, the preprocessor of Saturn is running. So you get a listing here of um, the statistics of the mesh. And this listing will be used afterwards to assign boundary conditions. So it's important to save it um, in a known location. So uh, we are here, we save it in the result directory. We call it list pre. Um, yeah, that's it. And uh, if you want to have a look at the uh, histogram, the volume, angles, and so on, yeah, it's all, all written here. Uh, then we move to the physics. So thermophysical models. First, calculation features will run a steady flow simulation, single phase, without any complicated uh, physical model. Um, mobile mesh, we leave it off. Uh, there's no uh, mobile domain. Uh, turbulence model, we will run um, laminar simulation. So uh, we turn off turbulence laminar model here. And uh, thermal model, there's no thermal scatter. So there's no uh, temperature field. It's isothermal. Uh, then additional scatters, there's no additional scatters. So the additional scatters can be used to, to, to typically to compute transport of some quantities. Um, so we leave this blank and we move to physical properties. So uh, just to mention about the units, um, we prepare the case using meter units. So the mesh uh, geometry is uh, written in meters uh, units uh, in terms of dimension. So the, um, we'll use a co coherent system of units of uh, Pascal, and um, and so on. So this is the standard, uh, so the SI, International System of Units. Um, so reference pressure is atmospheric pressure in Pascal. Then fluid properties. So I will use a fictitious fluid that has the same density as water. So 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter uh, density and uh, viscosity uh, um, uh, of one. So it's fairly viscous. And for specific heat, I will just put the 4,800, uh, even if it's not used, because it's only for um, when you have uh, temperature uh, in the model, but still. Uh, gravity, then I will in ignore gravity here and uh, move to the next part. Volume conditions, 
if you have several different volumes that are attached together you may need to look at this but here we have a single volume so we just skip it initialization is the initial velocity in your volume here we start with a zero velocity and add losses is if you want to to have specific regions with uh, um, empirical uh, pressure drops uh, so add losses that you you want to to introduce for typically for porous flow or things things like that um, then boundary condition that's the where the we we really need to 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 input um, what is the physics of the problem so boundary condi condition we need to start by importing the listing of the preprocessor here um, we go we are already in the result directory but we just need to select all files and we have our list pre uh, file and the good thing with this file is that it contains already a description of all boundary condition regions so we can just then uh, select which kind of boundary condition we assign to each uh, group so obviously walls is already selected as type type wall that's fine and then f1 F2 and F3 um, should be set as inlet and outlet. Um, we'll just have a look at the, the Salome uh, mesh and um, yeah, here. So if you remember well, I will just resize uh, Salome yeah, here. If you remember well, uh, F1 is our inlet so show only that's our inlet uh, and then f2 and f3 are the outlets here so if we go back to to cut such a wizard okay um, we'll double click here in front of f1 to set that f1 is inlet and then double click here for F2 and set it as outlet and same for F3. That's it for, for this phase. Uh, we have selected the kind of boundary condition for each, uh, each region. Then we move to the properties of this boundary condition here in boundary conditions. So for wall boundary condition, uh, here we'll use a smooth wall, non-sliding, so uh, perfect, so the flow is attached um, there's no zero velocity on, on the wall and then inlet um, we'll use a normal velocity so a, a velocity of one meter per second normal to the input uh, phase so so normal to f1 uh, so equal to one meter per second so we leave this like that it's fine and then for the outlet there's nothing to specify because outlet means zero external pressure then steady flow management um, that's why you need to to specify how many iterations you you run for to reach a steady state um, so it's important that you do a convergence check on this number of iteration you, you should reach a steady value uh, if, if it's not as if you, if it's not the case you need to increase the number of iteration i will start with 100 iterations here because i i know that it should converge uh, for this number of iterations and um, so that's it but be careful with this parameter then equations um, I will leave the default uh, solar precision it's very strict but we leave it and same for the scheme um, and then global parameters I leave everything uh, default but, but uh, you can read cut Saturn documentation to, to learn more on that and then uh, calculation control time average there's obviously no need for time averaging because it's a steady state output control this is an important one um, we need to say that we want um, so first listing is a text output and post-processing is a field output so for post-processing we will ask an output every 10 iteration uh, post-processing every n uh, times uh, time steps and then uh, about the post-processing format we'll ask for a med output so you can use inside gold format to post-process in paraview and you can use med format to post-process in salome so 
So that's what we will do uh, for this case. So I leave this here. Then volume solution control and profiles will leave this uh, empty. Um, once again, re read the tutorials to, to learn how to use it. Then uh, start or restart here in calculation management. Um, it's not a restart, so it's the first run. We leave it like that. But you can change the restart uh, uh, settings here in advanced options. So how many uh, checkpoints you write to the disk and so on. And then prepare batch calculation is where we we specify how to run the, the simulation. So uh, first it's on a local workstation, it's not on a cluster. So we select a profile workstation. Then number of, of CPUs, here I will use four as I have a quad core computer. And then uh, advanced options, you can select for example, where you put here uh, the temporary files, if there's a place that where you want to keep these files. So, but that's that's all. Normally, you don't, don't need to change that. So, fine, we need to save the case now. So here, click on save and give it um, a name. So, the case are in XML form, so format, so we call it case1.xml. That's it. So now we can run the simulation uh, by pressing run code saturn batch job. And you will see here that the CPU um, load is increasing. And uh, actually the run is, is um, solution is running in background. So you can have a look in the terminal here uh, to see some general messages about solution. Um, but I will pause now the video uh, until it converges. Okay, so here, here we are back again. So you can see here in the terminal that normal simulation finish means, okay, everything went fine. Uh, it doesn't mean it has converged, at least it means that the, there was no error. So if you want to have a look at uh, what happened during the run, so you need to open the listing of the solver. To do that, we need to go to the simulation directory, CFD Saturn, the study name, pipe, the case name, case one and result directory. In this folder, you will see uh, files that are always post fixes, uh, post fixed with uh, a time date, uh, time and date here, uh, number, uh, so that every time you run a simulation, actually you don't overwrite the files. It's uh, you get another set of files. So the file we will looking will be looking is listing with the time code here. We open it in the text editor and you can read it. It can be very valuable if you want to, to learn first if your mesh is, is valid, what happened during simulation and um, convergence of the problem and so on. So this is the, the, the starting point, pre-processing and then uh, your main cal calculation is uh, the time stepping. So uh, you can see typically the mass flow, uh, balance, and so on, um, and information about uh, the convergence of the... So if, if you have a problem with convergence of some solvers, uh, you will get warnings and, and errors here. So that's all. I will not go further with this. Uh, now we need to have a look at the, the field output, so to visualize the flow. So I will go back, sorry, I will go back to Salome here, that's it. And um, yeah, we'll right click and say hide all and then move to post processing module here. Yeah, make some space here. So that's fine. Now uh, we can load our result file. So we go in file here, uh, import, med file. And we go in the case directory. So pipe case one and result Re resume. Um, you don't see the result yet because it is named a bit differently. It's not named .med. It is actually this file that contains the field. It's a uh, CHR means um, uh, the field of results med with the time code. So we open this and uh, in this file actually you will get um, the mesh plus the different fields of solution. 
Um, so first, uh, if we expand it, you see fluid volume. That's for the output on the the cells, the volumetric cells. And then families, uh, you can see actually the mesh here. If you right click on um, on cells and say create presentation, you can see uh, the input mesh actually. That's for the mesh, and then for the fields, uh, you can see here pressure, and with with uh, under pressure you have different time steps. So these are pseudo time because it's a steady state uh, solution. So we right click on pressure, and we'll see how the pressure evolves during the the um, the simulation. So we'll right select visualization mode. We we'll right click. So we have scatter map. It's to to see. Uh, the field on the external surface of the mesh, either surface or cutting planes to see internally what happens, and um, yeah, cut lines to get uh, typically plots, 2D plots. Okay, so scatter map. Um, I will leave everything to default. You can specify the range, number of colors, the size of the color bar, and so on. Uh, I will leave everything to default. So that's it. Uh, a representation will be created. It's available here. You can hide it or display it like that. Um, I will just rescale the view. That's it. And then uh, we want, want to sc scroll uh, to to step in time uh, to see the, the evolution. So we, we go here. We ask for the slider. Slider is the time uh, control. And we just drag it here so that it doesn't take the whole window. Um, that's it. So we, we can see here we are at the time step uh, 10 now and we just press play to see how the pressure evolves during simulation. So um, you can see that actually I'm not sure we have reached pro a proper steady state because the last um, time steps uh, there's still some evolution. Um, so it's be maybe better to, to run a longer simulation uh, with more more iteration in that case. Um, so that's how you can you can see. So you see here the pressure field here in Pascal's uh, like this. You can add if you right click on the presentation, you can add shading to the view. That's that's nice. And uh, now we'll have a look at the velocity profile uh, on the. Uh, a mid plane of the of the pipe so we go to object browser um, then we will select the velocity profile like this right click and uh, we'll ask for a cutting plane view so cut plane um, the cutting plane will be parallel to xy plane so we select this one and we want just a single uh, cutting plane here, number of planes equal to one. Um, and you can see with show preview, you can normally see the plane, so I will just disable um, the previous plot here. I, yeah, I cannot disable it from now anyway. Uh, in principle, you can see a preview by, by this, so you can see where the plane is. I accept it, and then I will hide the scanner map here to see yeah, uh, only the cutting plane. So that's the velocity profile. Uh, you will see that actually Saturn is writing data only at cell center. So um, you see a constant value in each tetrahedra. So that doesn't give you an extremely smooth output. But if you load this med uh, file using uh, Paravis here, the, the Paraview um, post processor that is embedded in the new version of Salome, you can then compute the, sc the, the, the scalar field at nodes and get a smooth output if you want. Uh, but that's it for, for the present visualization. And uh, we can edit the position of this, uh, of this plane here, um, changing it to 0 0.3, for example, and you have another cut cutting plane view. Um, what is interesting also is to have a look at the maybe the um, ISO surface of velocity profile. So you can go here, say ISO surfaces on velocity. We want maybe three ISO surfaces um, and with a custom range. So typically we will 
we would like to see uh, the velocity profile between one, which is the inlet velocity, and the maximum velocity. So, and then magnitude coloring to, to see the, the, the isosurface in colors. So that's what you get here. It's not very visible because we should add some shading. So that these are the isosurfaces of the flow uh, for different velocities. So I can add some transparency as well. Right click transparency so that we can see what is what is inside. So for example, like this. So you see that this first isosurface is for one meter per second. And so you see how this the flow of one meter per second is distributed spatially. And um, we can change the isosurfaces to, to have a better view. Um, I will just ask for a single one at uh, let's say 1.5.5, something like this. Or maybe a bit, uh, a bit less, 1.2. Okay, so you see that this is the the isosurface for velocity 1.2. I've not mentioned about the time step now because we are not at the last time step. So we are, um, yeah, we need to to go go through. So that's sorry. Um, yeah, I've not selected the right the right one. Yeah, that's that's it. I've selected the isosurface and I will animate the isosurface for the different time steps. So you can see that during the iteration, you have an evolution of the velocity profile that gives you this, uh, this trend. Okay, so you can see that in the last iteration, the field doesn't move so much, uh, but still, um, we may need to add a couple of iteration, uh, maybe some 200 iterations to to reach a perfect steady state. So that's it for, for this video. I hope that you learned a lot uh, and at least that you it will uh, simplify your your first steps using Code Saturn and, uh, and Salome Mecca. And uh, so if you want to learn more on that field, uh, you can visit us at caelinux.com or caelinux.org for the wiki and uh, where, where you can actually contribute with your own experience as well. So thanks a lot and uh, see you later for another video.